Hello? Hello, everyone? We are back. And I would just like to say a big fat thank you to everybody who has ever supported me, to everybody who's still here, everyone who's coming back to watch me stream after we had a big ol' restart, a big ol' miss. Because, you know, not everything in life is perfect. Not everything goes the way that you think it's going to go. And, you know, life can just be hard. Snowball, first in a way. Um, updates are terrible. Yeah. So, Snowball, basically what happened was I was streaming <laughs> and uh, my computer was dropping frames. I, th I believe what I said was my computer was dropping frames like uh, diss tracks in a rap beef. It was bad. Um, and it wasn't like... Yeah, it was just like mega choppy. Not good at all. Not fun. I couldn't focus. And I just wanted... I needed to restart. And everybody in the chat was like, yeah, go ahead. Do it. Uh, it's a good decision. So we restarted. So you were the first one back. Snowball. Bearded Sage. Great to see you back. Updates are terrible. For sure. But now... It looks like I'm getting a pretty smooth uh, 60, you know. No more dips than my normal load, so. All better now. So now I'll just add that to my, uh, my pre-show checklist, my pre-stream checklist. Restart the computer. That's what happened to me the other week. Our electric went out, turned back on before I could get the stream back up, I had to update. Yeah, the worst. How rude. Our computers really should know better. But it's okay, it's all behind us now. It's 7.45. Remember, I left on a high note. I won the race. And we're gonna do it again. Hopefully this time. They're way more advanced than we are. Yeah. Computers have knowledge, but they don't have wisdom. And that is the quote I leave to the world. That's my contribution to society. Dang, these toads up to the left are not looking too round. They're looking pretty polygonal. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay. Hey, Tiffany. Okay, so I'm just gonna chill here in first place for a bit. Let's see what happens. You know what they say, it's lonely at the top, but it's the place I was meant to be. I should have seen that coming. That's all, that's all me. That was annoying. I really did it to myself, folks. Hey, Grillbit, I'm back too. We're in the middle of our first race back. I restarted my computer and it said now updating. And I was like, oh my God. I was very annoyed. Just like I'm annoyed now. Oh my God. It's okay. We'll be fine. <gasps> I'm 
Don't tell anybody, y'all. Okay, I'll take seventh. It's a nice bounce back from where I was. I'll take a uh, number seven with the Dr. Pepper. <sighs> Sheesh, man. Oh well, we are uh, we're back and we're doing great. Let's go to my favorite kind of beach, a cheap, cheap one. I feel like if I had to call one beach in Florida cheap, it would be uh, in the Atlantic. Have y'all, I know well, our, the Florida people probably have. Have y'all ever been in like a beach town? Because I, I mean, I've been hearing all about like liminal spaces, like spaces that are in between that don't seem real, like almost like a dream. I feel like a beach town is just a big liminal space. Because they're like not crowded. You can tell they were built to be tourist locations. They're often not very crowded if you go to like a rundown one. It just seems like something's off here. So it's kind of fun to go see. Also look at the fish in the top right. They're just flat. Vero Beach, is that considered a beach town? I feel like, well, I've never been to Vero Beach, but I feel like if your town has the word beach in the title, it's a beach town. But I'm, I think I'm more talking about beach towns that were like built for tourism and like not really built to live in, you know? Maybe there aren't any like that. Maybe that's just my experience with be with with the beach. I don't know. I'm really not much of a beach person, to be honest with you. Oh, zero beach. <laughs> that's funny. I've never heard of that. <gasps> oh my god. Come on, Frankie and Kendall. This store in there free. Okay, we got time. Just like I was talking about, this is the Drake and Josh episode. We're just hustling them. Man, okay. Stop, oh my god. Hey Sam, great to see you. I'm glad you're here now. I actually had to restart the stream. So I'm glad you're I'm glad you're in. For those of y'all who don't know Say, you can say hi to Sam. She is a longtime personal friend and a, a good friend of the stream. Great to see you, Sam. God, I'm so glad you're here. Have you seen my uh, professional setup with all the, with my new green screen and my new light and everything? T and my new haircut. Tiff has made me look very good in a bunch of ways. I already have one win on Mario Kart tonight, BT Doves. We're gonna go for some more.
And then I'm going to watch with Tiffany. You guessed it. The Bachelor. Oh, also, Sam, have you seen my new emote? Tiff is the best thing to happen to you. You're telling me. You're honestly telling me. I got this haircut for free. I'm very, very lucky. You know, we will not be lucky if we go to freaking cheese land up here. I need to learn like to be like a news, like a weatherman up there, or right up there. Yeah, with the glasses. I think it works way better than my old Hank emote, which it was fun while we had it, but I think this one is just more me, you know? Here we go. How was my day? My day was good, Sam. Uh, I actually thought this was going to be like a big a big week at work, so I did a bunch of prep yesterday. And then all the stuff that was going to be this week was moved to next week. So now I have like a lot of my work done for the week because I worked ahead. So now I just got to find other things to do. So pretty chill. How about them bucks? Yeah, Chow, how about them bucks? Okay, yeah, wait, we haven't talked about the Super Bowl. In case you guys didn't know, I'm not a huge sports guy, but... Who doesn't like watching the Super Bowl, you know? But, you know, with me being a musician and all that... Okay, I made the right call. Ooh, that was... That was a good strat on my part. But be, me, be, me being a musician and all that... I'm... I always like watching, uh... For the halftime show. Chow, that's probably the best... That's probably the best point you've ever made in chat. Racing literally is a sport. Uh-oh, Snowball. Making me sing. Oh, man. That boo came at the worst time. Oh, her? Yeah, amazing. Come on, man. I'll take third. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm good with that. There you go, Bearded Sage. That emote looks nice on you. Uh, I want Neo Bowser. Snowball, whenever you are ready for me to sing, you just let me know and I will sing whatever you want. Okay, so let's also let's talk about uh, sing the Pokemon theme as extra as possible. Okay, you got it. Really quick. Sam and Hank, remember when we spent all summer together and hated life for a week in Georgia? Yeah. I do remember that. We found a scorpion in the bathroom. That was a wild summer. Okay, here we go. I want to be the very best like no one ever was. Dun, dun, dun. Guess this is my real quest to train them is my cause. I will travel across the land Searching far and wide It's Pokemon to understand The power that's inside Pokemon, gotta catch them, it's you and me I know it's my destiny Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend In the world we must defend Pokemon, gotta catch them, a heart so true Our courage will pull us through you teach me and I'll teach you Pokemon Gotta catch them all Gotta catch them all Pokemon Bearded Sage, thank you for spending your Rangoons at Hank's Hangout 
Okay. Loving... Loving all these, uh... Wings and, uh... The hands with the fire. Those are some killer, uh... Killer things. There you go. I love it. The high notes. Sam, I learned from the best. Christy was like, yes, hey. I can't imagine. Ooh. Ugh. That's never happened to me before. I'm glad Christine liked it. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Dang, y'all, I have an interesting relationship with Pokemon. I don't know how many of y'all can share this experience, but growing up in like a church house, you know, uh, Pokemon was pretty controversial for some people. And I watched Pokemon on the TV when I was young. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Seventh? Are you kidding? And all that chaos? Eighth? She picked up the past couple of times. So it was my turn to pick. She can have the next one. Nice. I'm pretty sure she wants you to sing Grease. We'll get there. But yeah, anyway, I'm down to sing. Yeah, if she, if you got the points for it. But I watched Pokemon on the TV, and then suddenly it was evil. Um. So then, like. I don't think I was ever banned from watching it, but, like, it was taboo because, like, a lot of my friends at church and school were, like, not allowed to be associated with it. So, like, I, uh, cooled off on it. Uh-oh, Chow wants me to sing. Chow, what would you like me to sing for 500 Rangoons? But then in sixth grade, I got Pokemon Diamond for the DS because we were fine and all my friends were back into it. And I... I'm a very much peer pressure kind of person. Because I cared a lot about what people think of me when I was in middle school. <laughs> the main song from the musical Rent, I'll sing the, the best I can. You'll get a few lines out of me because I don't know the words from it that much. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure? measure year in daylights and sunsets and da -da, in cups of coffee and that's about all I got chow <laughs> hold on chow I'll do you I'll do you one better. After this race, I will look up the lyrics and I'll sing it for real. I feel like that was not a fair thing for me to do. Chow told me to sing Seasons of Love from Rent. Now Christy is singing the entire rest of the song in the house. <laughs> Chow, look what you've done. Come on. Yes. Chow, do you remember when we were doing um, karaoke at Applebee's? And um, I sang that Casty Crown song. I forget which song I sang, but it was a Casting Crown song. Also, one time I- oh man, that could've- that's the worst thing that could've happened. Also, one time at karaoke I sang Blurred Lines and I felt dirty. 
It was for your surprise party. I forgot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Carlos remembers. But yeah, I, I sang Blurred Lines, and I was like... Like a sophomore in college, and I was like, what if somebody, what if somebody saw me singing an inappropriate song? <laughs> like, I was so scared for no reason. I'll take a second place. I am yours. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, so now we're looking up Seasons of Love lyrics. Oh yeah, I am a flower quickly fading <laughs> here today and gone and tomorrow when you tossed in the ocean. I was doing worship in a Applebee's. Okay. 525,600 minutes. 525,000 moments so dear. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure, measure a year in daylights and sunsets and midnights and cups of coffee, in inches and in miles in laughter and strife? I don't know that part. 525,600 minutes. How do you measure a year in life? How about love? I think that counts chow thank you for redeeming your rangoons at the hangout your payment is always welcome here okay we're gonna get another win y'all I don't know how or when, but it will happen. I've had one tonight. We're not going to stop there. Thank you, Chow. Applause. I live for the... <laughs> I also love that song by Lady Gaga. I know that's not what you were saying, but... I live for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, applause, for the... That's when she was getting, like, really weird. I stand here waiting for you to bang the gong. She was wild. Ooh. Oh, man. Come on, man. I was doing so well. That shouldn't count. No! Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Ugh, I'll take fourth. Ugh, that's so annoying. It's so freaking annoying, man. It's okay. I love my new emote, so I'm gonna chill. What did I think of the weekend's halftime show? <sighs> um, okay, well, first of all, to state the obvious, The Weeknd is a great singer, great performer, and I think he, as a person, did a great job. But as a spectacle, I felt like it was missing something from years past. Probably in part because of COVID. You know, it's hard to have as many people, as many things going on. So I think he did as well as he could with what he was given. Um, but it wasn't my favorite halftime show. It was kind of middling for me. But I don't know how somebody could have done like better, you know? But The weekend's just also not, he's not my cup of tea. I don't listen to the kind of music he makes. But in no way do I think he's bad or did a bad job. It just wasn't for me. What did you think of it, Chow? Doo -doo. 
Here we go. He wasn't a good choice. Who, uh... Who would you like to see in the halftime show, Chow? A lot of performers want nothing to do with the NFL. That's true. I think it was either last year or the year before. I feel like the first one was so good and then it went down from there. Yeah. I could see that for sure. Was it last year when um, Maroon 5 did it? I think whatever year Maroon 5 did it, they had also asked... Um, I don't know. They they had asked a couple of like performers of color to do the halftime show, and like a few people said no, and then Adam Levine said yes, and people were like, "Hmm." Sorry, Wa. Can I get a disco would be a good one? Uh, I could see that. I'm also not a crazy about Panic, but Panic at the Disco. You know who I feel would do a great job? I was actually brainstorming some of these with Sam and Nixon Ken's in a group chat. We're talking about people who we thought would be good. Uh, and I feel like Miley Cyrus and Aerosmith would be killer together. I keep saying killer tonight. I don't know why. Miley Cyrus and Aerosmith would do amazing. The killers would do a good job. But do you think that they are... Do you think they would be invited to do a halftime show? There better not be no tricks. Yes! Yeah, Lizzo and Harry Styles would be awesome. Oh, yeah, I saw that afterwards Miley did the pregame show. First place, folks. Let's go to Toad Harbor. I do not like Toad's Turnpike. Yeah, Lizzo and Harry Styles would be so cool. Miley and Aerosmith would be great. Oh, we were also... I don't want to be mean... But we were also talking about the people we would least like to see. And it's not to say that they're bad, but it just would not be a good halftime show. The funniest combo we put together, in my opinion, was Jason Derulo and Halsey. I just think that would be such like, I feel like if they were put together, everyone watching would be like, what do we do with this? You know? But also, I'll never achieve that level of success. Went viral, right stroke, stroke to the baby in the spiral. Tiffany Travolute, thank you for resubscribing. Sit down, be humble. Sit down, be humble. Thank you for your resub, Tiff. BTS. Chow, I'm going to have to disagree. I don't really listen to BTS, and I could see why a bunch of people would be annoyed at that, because people love to hate on K-pop, but I think BTS would do a great job. Because they're used to stadium performances. Carlos and Jason Derulo is the type to ask to do the Super Bowl. <laughs> Can we talk about how... Can we talk about how Jason Derulo has been famous since like 2008? Like, can we talk about like how wild it is that he's stuck around so long? Cause like, nobody I've 
ever known has been to a Jason Derulo concert or like bought a Jason Derulo album. But he just likes, he just sticks around. That's not to say he doesn't deserve it. Like his TikTok, he's so charismatic. Just like, I don't feel like he's ever achieved like mega star status, but he's been like around forever. You don't listen to them? Yeah. BTS and Blackpink, real bit. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Wahaha! Oh, yeah, I forgot that he does that. Come on. Ooh, that was a good shortcut. I'll take second. I'll take second. Ciao. <laughs> Pitbull has a good stage presence. That's funny because we also said that Pitbull is someone we would not want to see at the Super Bowl. But I will take your word for it. Tiffany, what would you like me to sing with your Rangooms? Let's see if Cheap Cheap Beach can happen. But also, Sam, when it comes to asking to do the Super Bowl... Oh, okay. Y'all ready? Jason Derulo! Thank you, Tiffany. <coughs> the artists that do the Super Bowl don't get paid. And I think I'd heard that years ago and forgot about that. So I'm at Grab Ash Universal, but senior, and he can hype a crowd. Everybody saw him at Grab Bash. I never got to see him. I never went to Grab Bash. But every, every year he was there. He had a crowd. I feel you, Chow. The way you stared near the camera. I try to connect with people's souls, Tiffany. Pardon me. Let's do it. I like the Electrodome. Just not my favorite. Sam, I'll look at that in a second. There's a moment where we do a flyover. When he performed at Grab Bash is when I went on the Hulk. <laughs> You're like, oh, he's on. <laughs> the line's gonna be shorter. Imagine you went on the Hulk and the line got longer when Pitbull played. Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah, that would be an interesting Super Bowl. I feel like... I feel like Usher is the type they would invite. And people would be like, Usher? Man, he's been around, but we'll see. And he would actually do really well. Okay, well, if things are going to get weird, it's going to happen in this lap. He did? Lil Wayne? Like, he was, like, the headliner? I did not know that. Or was he, like, a, like a special guest that they brought out? Usher. Usher was the head. Oh. Okay, well, never mind. I take it back. 
I don't take back that he would do a good job, but I take back that they should invite him. Okay, first. Why was that one so easy? Why was that one so easy? I feel good about that. That was the most casual win. The most casual win. Ooh, Mount Wario, please. I don't know why. Pitbull is just not my guy. Oh, you know who I would never want to see? You know who I would never want to see? Flo Rida. And also, the, I, this, the caveat here... The caveat, whenever I say this, I acknowledge that all of these people will have way more success than I ever will at music. I want it to be clear that they are not the losers in the situation. That being said, I would never want to see Flo Rida at a Super Bowl, personally. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me know. Be sure to show you how I'm moving, then you come real close. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby. Here we go. That was a song. Have any of y'all heard uh, Miley Cyrus's latest album? <laughs> Cardi, I think Cardi would do a good job, but she'd be the type to provoke a uh, angry response from like a million moms or whatever those groups are, you know? Like if, like with uh, J Lo and Shakira, they did awesome, but. The, uh, mothers were not happy about it, but it is what it is. Like, if you don't like it, turn the TV off. They're your kids. I always wondered how I would navigate, like, if my child was in an... If my child wanted to be an actor and they were in, like, an R-rated movie, would I let them see the movie? Probably not until they were old enough, you know? I messed. I goofed. I goofed. Go! I thought I could get rid of the piranha plant and use my mushrooms in the sand. Use my mushrooms in the sand. It's okay. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me know. Will I ever make a song that catchy? Probably not. Do I still laugh at Flo Rida? Yeah, because his name is Flo Rida, and he's from Florida. There's someone behind me, just so y'all know. I don't want him to go unnoticed. Hillsong United at the Super Bowl? Shoot, chow. That's a great answer. Young and free. Hillsong Young and Free would be wild. You know, I really, really like the music of Selena Gomez. I do not think she would be good for a Super Bowl halftime show. I would pay to see her in concert, would not want her at the Super Bowl. Because I know what I'm getting into with her. And I just don't think she's a good fit. I think one year... I think one year they asked Adele to do it. And she said no because she thought it wouldn't be a good fit. 
Which, like, honestly, good on her because she does not make Super Bowl halftime show music. Chow, are you saying people that you would or would not want? I do not think Bieber, as we know him right now, would be a great fit for the halftime show. But there was a time when I think he would have done well with the type of music. You would. Okay. You know, I'll support you on Bieber. I think he could do it. Can you blow my whistle, baby? Whistle, baby, let me know. Ninth place. Oh. There's another another lap. Thank God. Nickelback would be an, an adventure, Chow. I um, that camera, I accidentally hit the reverse camera and sent myself into orbit. Wow! Second place! And y'all know how many frames I've dropped for the last 45 minutes? Zero. Zero. I didn't mean to do that other hand sign. That's like now a white power sign. Not about it. But zero. Bye, Thomas. Bye, Chow. Love you, Chow. See you later. Have a good stream, buddy. Gotta set up my stuff. See you, Snowball. I will be in there to say hi in a few minutes. We'll be wrapping up here before too long. Okay. <laughs> See you, ciao. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming by, guys. It's been fun. The stream has been. Re I was really nervous when we were off to such a rocky start, but y'all have been a uh, a great a great chat. So thank you for for coming and hanging out. It's been fun. All right, Moo Moo Meadows. Let's see if we can crank out another winner too. Get the banana away from me. I love this track. Stay away, dang it. That's annoying. Okay. Let's keep going. Also good for the toads for having a dairy farm. 
I love a good entrepreneur. Except for they're very irresponsible to just leave these cows out on a racetrack. That's annoying. Oh, mama. Okay, guys. Last. Oh, we got one or two more races. We'll see how quick they go. Oh, sorry, Grillbit. I just noticed you're uh, hydrate. Thank you, Grillbit. I am all hydrated. Because of you, I will not shrivel up. Yes. I'm okay with that. Can you blow my whistle, baby, whistle, baby, let me know. Come on. Are you, are you coming to your church? All right. Let's see uh, what we can pull out of here. I don't know if y'all have ever been like go karting, and I don't mean I don't mean like fun spot, like just casual little fun go kart track, which are fun with with all the spirals and goes up, uh, you know, tower and stuff. Those are great fun. But, like I've also been to like the indoor ones. That are like, just like where the carts go really fast and you're like on a track and it's like competitive. That's not my scene. It's fun, but like my neck was sore the next day from having to turn it so much around the corners. Okay, I did good. Yeah. I'm glad Mario Kart is a game and not in real life, because if it was in real life, I would not be enjoying it as much. Although it would be kind of fun to stream a real life like Mario Kart go kart track. Okay, I'll be happy to keep this bullhorn. If a ghost don't steal it from me. Okay, come on. Yes! I might do it! I might do it! I might do it! Dang it. They had a bomb. They did a good job. They made a good use of it. Okay, but you know what? Second place is a good a good place to stop. Second place is a good end. So let's go ahead and start to wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I've had a great time. In spite of all of our hardships, in spite of everything that's happened, I think it's been a great stream. Uh, a cool zero dropped frames, a cool 60 frames per second. And yeah, it's just always, it's, al it's always fun to hang out with you guys. So let me go on here and see who's on for us to raid. Let me see if Snowball's live yet. If Snowball is not live, we will go over and raid Franco. Oh, 
and here he is. So let's go raid uh, Snowball813. If you choose to stick around and raid, you'll get some Rangoons to use on my channel next time. You can hear me sing Whistle by Flo Rida a few more times. It should be a good time. But let's jump over to Snowball 813. Love you guys. Have a great week, and I'll see you Thursday at 9 p.m. for some more Slender. Peace.